All right, we are here at Bioneers 2011 at Mirror Grove College. I am speaking with Cliff Shears. Cliff Schulz. Cliff Schulz, uh, pardon me, from Green Hand uh, Reskilling Initiative. How are you, Cliff? I'm good today. You having a good uh, conference? It's beautiful. I encourage everybody to come to the Bioneers. Absolutely, yeah, it really is a. Uh, a very special event uh, both in California and now we're lucky enough to have it here for the seventh year in, in uh, Metro Detroit. Tell me about the Green Hand Reskilling Initiative. Green Hand Reskilling Initiative um, is an idea that came out of a meeting of people who are interested in transition to a post-carbon uh, economy. It was held in February of 2009. We were looking for a way uh, for people to connect with learning resources within their community, um, teachers of uh, skills that could be helpful in, in a kind of a post-industrial age. Um, so how could we how can we find how can we connect with one another right here really locally in our own communities and um, I had this idea that um, perhaps putting a, a, a sign on our physical property um, whether it's an apartment or your you know if you have a if you have a, uh, a lot with a house on it mm -hmm. kind of thing so in your window or your front yard either way yep now the, the, it's a it's a green hand sign and that's all it is um, the idea came out of when I was a child I was told that um, if ever I was having trouble in uh, in my neighborhood, if I got hurt or lost or needed assistance, I could find this blue hand sign. It's called a helping hand, yes. and these people were um, registered homeowners who could help, who were going to help children who were playing in their neighborhoods. But this has been this is a kind of an updated and green version for grown-ups to find one another. And, uh, and once they see the sign and go up and knock on the door, uh, how's that work? Well, that's the thing. I, I would encourage people um, to use a, you know, to have the green hand sign, possibly a line underneath it that says what they're, what kind of skill they're, they're looking to share. Like mine says gardening, mm -hmm. and then I created a, a, an email address so that I could filter and, you know, funnel the responses. I don't necessarily want strangers knocking on my door. Um, but after the first time that I meet somebody, of course, then they're not a stranger anymore, and then it's, you know, that's what community building is all about. But I just kind of felt more comfortable having that filter there. You could put your phone number on, on the sign as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the person who's sharing the skills could charge or could do it more as a, a kind of neighborhood skill sharing uh, uh, activity. Sure. I mean, like some kinds of skills really, I mean, if you're going to devote your life to teaching, you should get paid. I mean, if you're really going to make a, a deal out of it. But there's a lot of ways in which we can share skills and do informal bartering. For example, if someone wants to learn how to compost, um, and I've got a job that requires the turning of it, then the manual labor that they that my uh, students supply would be more than adequate compensation for me sharing my knowledge about the composting process as a gardener. So I, you know, yeah. you can you can make it work for you. And it's also like a project like canning. It's hard to can by yourself. It's a much easier task when you have multiple hands in the kitchen, and then people learn how to do it. Maybe go home with a couple of cans of peaches or whatever you're putting up, and then they have the skill. They have the peaches. You've got your peaches. Everybody's you know happy, and then we have a stronger community. So, are there uh, skill sharing programs like the Green Hand that you're proposing in other cities or other parts of the world that you were inspired by, or is this something that? Given your interest around peak oil, transition towns, alternative currencies, that this seemed to just fit. It wasn't something that I was inspired by a, another thing that was out there happening. I mean, where, where this, I think, it diverges a little bit from how things are mostly going. There's a lot of emphasis right now on online community uh, venues, Facebook and et cetera, ways of connecting, meetups. Um, what, the, what I think differentiates this is that it's a physical sign in a physical location, and that means the people it reaches are the very people who are right there already. In they're, the neighborhood. They're already in my neighborhood. They are mm -hmm. already probably my neighbors. Yes. And so these are, you know, if we're talking relocalization, the old fashioned sign nailed to a tree really actually has some advantages over the, you know, the technological, uh, you know. Low tech. Uh, very low tech. But, but uh, great access and reweaving connections in your own neighborhood. Exactly. So Cliff, if people want to learn more uh, about uh, Green Hand and this idea, mm -hmm. maybe uh, try it out in their own neighborhood, how would they get in touch or learn more? 
Well, you can uh, you can write me. It's very simple. It's not a copywritten thing. It's your hand. Uh, so all you have to do is paint a hand on a sign, and you're you're good. Um, and and then you can. Some people have said, well, nobody knows what the green hand means. And to them, I just say, right. Um, your con first contribution to your community is explaining why you put that sign up. And generating that conversation around that is actually a big so important. It's kind of a do it yourself. They don't need to contact you. No. You're just, here's an idea and you're putting it out in the community. Yes, but I do have a website if you want to okay. um, take, a, take a look. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, it's out there. If you put into your favorite search engine, Green Hand Initiative or Green Hand Reskilling, it's going to pop up. Uh, at least nobody I've ever said that to has not been able to find it. Right. So I'm lucky that way. I'm at the top of the search uh, list right now. So. All right, Cliff, thank you so much. It's a great idea. Idea. Thank you for sharing it. All right, thank you.